Uh, my name is Al Goss. I'm the Associate Dean here of Students at the Ted Rogers School of Management. And on behalf of the Dean, faculty, the staff, and students here at the Ted Rogers School, uh, I really am thrilled to welcome you to this information session and hope that you'll be, become part of the Ted Rogers family uh, next year. There are over 30 clubs and teams uh, that you can become a part of, that you can take advantage of when you're here. And what you'll find in at you know, any day of the week throughout the entire term, throughout the entire year, there will be events and opportunities for you to take advantage of. More of them than you could choose. You couldn't go to all of them. There are so many. Uh, and these are really opportunities for you to make strong connections and friends with other students uh, that will really be lifelong friends. And I don't, I don't just say that because I'm the Associate Dean of Students. In fact, the Ted Rogers Student Society, which is the umbrella organization for our, uh, the business students, was recently named the top business student society in Canada by the Canadian Association of Business Schools. Uh, and as it turns out, our president was uh, named the all-star president. So uh, it's, not just, it's not just me saying it, it's other people recognizing what a really incredible place it is uh, here at the Ted Rogers School because of the students. So there will be lots of opportunities if you choose to join us, and I hope that you will, uh, if you wanna do an exchange, for example. You can do international exchanges in over 20 different countries. If you're interested in your career development, uh, you've got the, the Business Career Hub, which looks after uh, career development, graduate uh, opportunities, our co-op program, which is one of the largest business co-op programs in the country, uh, as well as boot camps, which you heard a little bit about in the video, to brush up on your technical skills. Those are all available to you. Our Business Career Hub really is attached to the engine of Canada's economy. I know that there's an awful lot of things you're gonna hear a lot in this hour because we are a large business school and it can seem overwhelming. And so what we have done this year uh, is we've launched a new program. It's called Fit for Business. And the Fit for Business really is an engagement program that's specifically designed for first year students to help you to transition into the Ted Rogers School and take advantage of all of the opportunities that we have. You'll be put into a cohort of about 45 students called a TED Pack. And you'll be in those people in that TED Pack with you will be enrolled in the same program that you are. Uh, and you'll go through your first year with those students. And the Fit for Business program, and I suspect you'll hear a little bit more about it this morning, uh, is really designed to help you successfully transition and give you the confidence you're going to need uh, in order to participate and really be uh, a part of this community. It is an amazing community. Uh, and I know that you're here to hear all about it and not to hear from me. So with that, I will turn the microphone, the virtual microphone back over to our hosts. You'll also notice on the screen that it says at the Ted Rogers School of Management, we give out about $1.7 million in annual awards and scholarships. Those are scholarships and awards that range across your entire degree. So I really encourage you, and I'm hoping Serena can drop a link in the chat to um, start your profile for award spring now. Even if you don't have an offer yet, that's okay. You can start to apply for awards and scholarships. We have some deadlines coming up on April 1st for the Ted Rogers um, entrance awards and scholarships. And those awards range from $10,000 to $40,000 across your four years. Um, so I encourage you to take a look at that. I encourage you to fill out your profile because sometimes we don't get enough students applying for those awards and scholarships and we can't give out that money. And we really want students to benefit from it. So if you're feeling hesitant about applying for awards and scholarships, please don't hesitate. There are lots of different kinds of awards. Not all of them are grades-based. Some of them are community-based. Some of them are experiential-based. So if you've got different experiences in different areas, 
um, whether it's work related, um, those community volunteer experiences, take a look at that portal because that in there, it will um, pull together different awards that you may be um, eligible for. So please, please sign up for award spring. Um, yes, we have co-op at the Ted Rogers School of Management. For those of you who have offers, and it may not say that you are automatically in co-op, please do not worry. Co-op is actually secondary um, applications at the Ted Rogers School of Management. So you apply for co-op in your first or second year. Um, and it is based on a number of different requirements. We do have a CGPA requirement and we get, oh, Serena's already done it. So you can click on that link. You can see all of the different requirements. So you apply either at the end of your first year or second year, uh, depending on your major. Um, it is uh, a very large program. So one of the largest programs in Canada, we have approximately 2000 students in our co-op program, just under that. Um, we have a dedicated uh, business development team too, who is out working and hitting the pavement to, to find different opportunities for our students. For those of you who may not be familiar with co-op, um, in university, it is different than high school. So in university, you have different co-op work terms. When you are in a co-op work term, you're not in school, you are getting paid as, a, as an employee. And on average, you can see on our screen that uh, our students over the course of their um, 16 to 20 months of work experience, they do make about $46,000. Um, students don't do the full 16 months at once. So depending on the industry that you're working in, depending on your program, you go out at different times. You could be going out in the winter, in the summer, or in the fall. And when you go out, you might go out in the winter, you might take some courses in the summer, you might be in class in the fall. Um, it's a different series for, for the different majors. I'm gonna, I've seen um, some questions about class sizes. So maybe we can have some of the students on here. Who's in business management? That, that would be me, Catherine. Asad, um, how have you found, it's a bit different online, but how have you found class sizes? Mm -hmm. So um, I think definitely one of the advantages of coming to Ryerson that I've noticed has been um, smaller, more manageable class sizes. As Catherine ma mentioned, it is a little bit different online. Uh, because you'll have so many students just joining into a virtual lecture, you might have class sizes of maybe around 200 some students for some of your larger classes. But I'm also in some accounting course where there's only 50 of us. And it really makes you feel a little bit more heard. And you can communicate with your professors and other students far more easily in these class sizes. So yes, generally at Ryerson, they are much more manageable. Um, I was going to add that for the hospitality and tourism program, um, our program is one of the smaller programs. So the HTM specific courses, the classes are actually, like Asad said, they're a little smaller, um, or usually between 60 to 80 people. And what really helps in terms of um, being heard and making sure you can ask all the questions you want to ask, which you can always ask but you can make a more personal relationship while doing so is by turning on your camera when you're in class and really speaking up and not just typing your questions in the chat, but when you're in class to raise your hand and say it out loud. And because the classes are smaller, it's very possible and it to, it's very possible to make a close relationship with your professors and really get to know them on a more personal level, even though we are virtual. Yeah, and also to add like with um, Kenneret said uh, retail management is also a smaller one of the programs. So like in my retail management courses, there are about 80 people as well. And you get to know the professors, as Kenneret also mentioned. So it's just good, depending on what program you're at, 
you have a more closer relationship with your professors. We do have a lot of additional opportunities to continue having these conversations and connecting with us. So as Catherine mentioned, if you check out our Ryerson at home website, which is ryerson.ca slash at dash home, you can learn more about guided virtual campus tours, how to meet a Ryerson student. We do have some students from the Ted Rogers School of Management who you can book one-on-one -on -one appointments with. Um, you can meet a recruitment officer like myself or one of my colleagues from the Ted Rogers School of Management, information on SHISM events and so much more. Make sure you continue checking your Choose Ryerson portal page, uh, because again, that is where you will find any updates on your application. Um, and check out our after applying page, as well as our approved students pages on the Ryerson website to give you some more direction on your next steps. Or join me at tonight's open house session where I will be giving a presentation all about your next steps. Should you have any questions, we are always available to help. You can get in touch with our service hub through email, phone, social media, live chats, or by using ask.ryerson.ca. So check that out. On behalf of Ryerson University, thank you once again for joining us. We hope to see you at our future open house sessions all throughout the next two weeks. Take care, everyone.